Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 3x3 test tent with another unboxing video. This one is from Spider Farmer. It is the new SE5000. It's a 3x3 or 4x4 light. We're going to test it in a 3x3 today because we want to push some huge numbers. So let's get into it. All right, there we go. We got it all hooked up and ready to go. Let's take a look at some of the accessories uh, this comes with in the box. All right, so this is what comes in the box when you get it. Of course, you get uh, the rope ratchets, and this does not come with a hanging kit, amazingly enough. Uh, it comes with four rope ratchets instead of a hanging kit. So I guess enough people complained about the, uh, the height that they're losing from their hanging kit that they just uh, did away with it altogether. So grats, people, for doing that, because now I have a harder time hanging these lights to test them. Thanks for that. But uh, yeah, now it comes with four rope ratchets. That's killer. Uh, another great thing about this light, it's very easy to put together. This thing was amazing to put together. Wow. So this is the manual that it comes with here. You also get an extra clip here, and I'll show you what these clips are later. This is one of the reasons, the main reason really, why it is so easy to put together. It just clips in. But it's not, it's not a janky clip like some of the other ones. This is actually a good clip that holds it in. And they give you an extra one just in case one of them breaks. So this is an extra, a spare. And then you get, of course, the... Uh, look at that, man. Whole set of stickers. Big stickers, little stickers, all kinds of stuff. You get the uh, daisy chain cord. And, of course, the power cable that's hooked up running the light currently. But let's take a look at the, uh, the manual here real quick. Take a look at that. There's their uh, their par meter, or their par map, I should say, not meter. There's the G5000 right there. This is what they say. Let's see if I can keep it in the light. Maybe need to zoom in a little bit more. There we go. So that's their their par map for the G5000. 480 watts. Spectrum 660 to 665, 3200 to 4200K, 4800 to 5000K. So it has uh, cool white, warm white, and red, of course. Personal coverage 5x5, commercial coverage 4x4. I would actually say commercial coverage 3x3, three three, uh, personal coverage 4x4 four four personally. That, that would be my take on it. 480 watts is not a lot for a 4x4. Four really want to be around 600 or so so this is some more of their some more of their watts uh watts some more of their models here <laughs> go all the way up to 860 watts though on the next one which is going to be a banger in a 4x4 for the 8600 and then the g1000 of course that's going to kill it package includes all right, so the G5000 does not come with a hanging kit, like it says right there. No hanging kit. So the only one that comes with a hanging kit is the G3000. But you do get two sets of rope ratchets. Bracket to hang it. No driver hanger. Pretty slick. It goes together really, really easy, like I was saying. Look at this. You just take the bars and you clip them in and then plug them in. It's it's stupid simple. This is probably the best design I've seen as far as putting a, a, one of these bar lights together. I think they really nailed this design. It's clean, it's easy to put together. Look at no big mess of wires. Each wire is, is super short. Go into the bar. And the bar is sturdy too. It's, it's not weak. Showing you how to daisy chain some stuff here. And then your warranty. Uh, you're looking at up to a five year warranty on this, but it is a tiered warranty. So in the first 30 days, of course, they're gonna they're gonna exchange it uh, with at no cost. Um, if a defect arises within two years after that 30 days, so 30 days to two years. Spider Farmer will provide free after-sale service. If customer returns a product part that is ineligible for service, Spider, Par Spider Farmer will charge the customer's credit card for the authorized amount. So if you send them something that's not under warranty, they're going to fix it, but they're going to charge you. 
And then from years two to five, can get free accessories or trade in allowances. So it sounds like they might uh, swing a deal with you since it's old and maybe give you credit towards a new light, something like that. So they their warranty is changing all the time. So is uh, Mars Hydro and a lot of the other companies. Um, their, their warranty changes very, very often. And you will want to check their website for the most available info on that. But uh, this is better than it was. This is better than it was. As far as how this reads, this is an improvement on their warranty. So that's good. Uh, other accessories, grow tents, fans, heat mats, all that stuff. They tell you, get all that stuff. And then the rest, I think, is just other, other languages. There we go. So that's about it. Uh, let's, uh, let's kick on the par meter and get some, uh, some numbers on this thing. All right, we are ready to go. We got the meter rolling. But I wanted to show you guys the uh, light itself here. I was talking about how easy this is to put together. It is super, super easy. It's just these two bars, one bar here, one bar there, and then you have these clips where it clips in. You just pull the tabs and boom, snaps right in. It's solid. I can twist this. You can see it does not twist. It does not move, it does not bend, it does not do anything terrible, which is great. Because as you guys saw with that other light that I reviewed, it had some serious structural issues with its clip-on bars. So this is killing the game right here. This thing went together extremely, extremely easy and quick and it's sturdy and it's light too. It's very lightweight. We've got an aluminum frame here, aluminum bars. The whole thing's super light. The only heavy part is the driver. You can run that outside the tent if you want. Take a look at the uh, diodes here. We got cool white, warm white, just like it says in the manual, of course, and some red. Looks like they're experimenting a little bit with the uh, spacing again. Got it bunched out towards the edge and then a little bit of a break there and then back into just interesting spacing, just like it's kind of loose there, then tight, then super loose, then super tight. So they must be uh, trying something new. We'll see how it works. But I'm a big fan of this setup, and also, look at this, no mess of wires. There's no big rat's nest of wires here, like you've seen on other lights that I complained about. Look at this, this is how it's done, guys. This is how it's done. All you guys that were making excuses for that other company and their rat's nest of wires, this is how it's done. Just to show, just to show you, just to let you know, that's how it's done, right there, boom. All right, so let's get the uh, the watt meter fired up here, and we'll see what we're pushing. Looking like 47 watts. We're at the bare minimum right now, as low as it'll go. Pushing about 100 par to the corners. So a little bit, a uh, little bit weak to really do a whole lot of anything. Let's turn it up a little bit. We'll try and get to uh, some seedling and clone area. That looks pretty good right there, like 130, 140. Get a center reading there real quick. 155. 155 in the center. So it is going to be a little weaker on this side because the door obviously is wide open. There's zero reflection right here. There's only a little bit of reflection here. So the back is going to be uh, a little bit more powerful. But uh, that's pretty awesome, man. 141 over in that corner. 158 there. 147 over there that is really good really really good very even coverage so let's kick it up uh let's try and find a veg here around 350 is where i like to veg personally some people do more i imagine some people do less i've actually vegged with 250 before because i had to just didn't have enough light all right, so let's get us about 350 in the corners there, the back corners. Looking 300 in this unshielded corner and 327 in the partial uh, corner, partial reflected corner. Let's get a center reading. See what we're looking at. 390, that is still an amazing spread. So it's looking like whatever they did with these diodes, man, is working because this spread is killing it. 355, 396, 364. 
That's uh, that's really good. That's really good. Killing the game. I like that. So let's go up. Uh, let's go up to the base of flower, which I say is about 600. That's about where you start getting the really good chunky buds. Around 600. There we go. So we're 601, 616. 4... 490-something over here in the corner. Oh, my hand. <laughs> my hand. I'm like, why is it moving? But my friggin' hand is over the sensor. <laughs> 498 in that corner. 555 over here. I gotta keep my hand out of the tent. I'm like, why is the sensor's going crazy? Dummy. <laughs> That's awesome. Get a quick center reading here. All right. Oh my God. Look at that. We're not even a hundred par off the corner to the middle at flower. Killing it, dudes. 600, 669, 614. Awesome. 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 Oh, height. I should remind you guys. I forgot. Height. Height. I'm going to have to put this in the description because it's so far in the damn video now. Uh, we are actually 21 inches off the deck. Because we're trying to hit a 20 inch canopy so there's your 21 inches off the deck there sorry about that a little late in the video for the height but better late than never right all right so we are uh, gonna move up let's just blow it open man let's see what this thing does now nah, let's let's not because i think it's gonna go really far i'm gonna take it to like 800 i think it's gonna go more than that So eight, eight hundred ish, right there, six 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 in this corner over here. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> maybe I should change the, maybe I should move it a little bit. All right. So as far as where we're at right now on the dial, we're about seventy five, not ah, about seventy percent actually, in between sixty and eighty, about seventy right there, is gonna be. Uh, like what I would consider strong flowering, around 800. Our center reading, 870. We're still not 100. We're still not 100 off the center to the outside. That's really good coverage, guys. Really, really good even, even coverage. 871 in the middle. That's killing it. That's killing it, guys. All right, now let's blow it open all the way. See what we got. And now I am really glad that I tested this in a 3x3 three three and not a 4x4 four four because this thing probably would have hit about 600 in the corners maybe. Maybe. Maybe in a 4x4. Four four. So, I mean, you could use it in a 4x4, four four, but I prefer to hit around 800 to 1,000. And this is killing the game right now. We're looking at about 1,200 in the corners, which is awesome. And then the middle... 13 15 so we're just now getting a hundred off from the uh, corner to the middle at maximum maximum uh levels like that's that's killing it man that's really good they did a great job in the uh the diode spacing on this thing that is killing it guys that is awesome so 1200 to 1300 this is like professional levels here this is where you're going to want to use CO2 to really maximize your benefits on that. But honestly, I would probably run this thing for most people. I would probably run it at that 70% level. Go back to 70% there. You're 800 all the way around the tent. 800 in the corners, 890 in the middle. That's probably where I would sit right there for most people. Advanced growers, yeah, sure, blow it open. But I would probably sit about 70% here. You save yourself some wattage. You save yourself some heat on your on your rig. A lot of people underestimate running these lights underpowered. Like if you're running everything at max, it's not going to last as long. It's just not. So if you're going to run these a little bit under, which I like to do, it's going to only help you. And look at the coverage, man. Wall to wall. You cannot beat this coverage in a 3x3. This light is an absolute banger for a 3x3. 
we're looking at uh, what is that 320 watts there to push 800 all the way around the around the tent with only 320 watts that is killing the game guys absolutely killing the game so let's uh let's get the uh spectrometer out we'll take our spectral reading there we go zeroed out and there we go oh boy that's got a lot of uh a lot of like orange in there super orangey got a nice red spike nice blue spike but it's got a lot of those middle colors like the orange orange green yellow blue to red about three to one pretty standard far red nice I'd like to see maybe a little bit more red back off on the orange but eh, it is what it is all right so that's pretty much it guys all we have to do now is just let it warm up at max uh max rating here so we can push all the watts that we can get it to heat up as much as we can we'll come back and we'll see what kind of heat readings we get all right we've let it warm up for about an hour or so let's take some uh some heat readings here see what we're looking at it's like 123 for a max on the whole fixture that's on this far left bar it looks like it might be because it's right up against the the tent there this one has a little bit of airflow on the side but this one the tents actually kind of pushed up against it that's looking like the the hottest part down here in this in this corner actually 127 126 about 118 in the middle of the second bar the driver not bad at all man the driver they're not even working the driver that hard 113 is great and 116 is great 118 on these bars too like they this is great man this is really good like it's not hot let me touch it here give it the hand test Yeah, that bar is a little bit warmer a little bit you can tell just by touching it what over here driver oh yeah the driver's cool oh my god it's like lukewarm it's it's just a little warm it's not even hot that's good so the thermals are excellent on this light so <laughs> this thing's a banger guys if you're looking if you're looking for a good light for a three by three this thing is solidly built it's got a good price it's got good parts it's got a decent warranty not the best but decent and it just smashes the output is amazing it's pretty killer so if you guys are looking for a good three by three light i think this would be a really good choice uh, click the links below to get some more info discount codes below as well make sure you use the discount code anytime you're buying something from spider farmer or any of the other companies that i have discount codes from all my discount codes are in the description below till next time guys happy growing